Back at ACC tip-off, we carry Duke basketball here on WSJS. I've been getting grief today because everybody says I'm wearing Duke-colored Jordans on, today. Man, you look good. You look good. And that's the reason we all do it, WD. <laughs> John Shire, Duke head coach, about. is joining us now. The first thing I think of when I look at your schedule is, wow, four preseason top 25 ranked teams. You're going on the road at Arkansas in the first ever ACC SEC challenge. You have Arizona coming in to start the year in game number two, but it's the start of a home and home. You've spoken before about the importance of playing road games before conference play arrives. What do you think your team really gets out of it as you say you plan to continue uh, scheduling home and homes? Well, you know what? The, the experience of being put in different environments and different situations, I, I just think there's such value in that. And like we want to win every game. That's the goal, right? Uh, but playing in them, there's no question when it comes time, ACC play, February, March, whatever it is, uh, we'll be better prepared the more environments we're in. So it's a great test. I can tell you all of our players, you could ask them, they want to play in these games. Like This is why you come to Duke, to play in some big-time environments. And I'm really excited for the challenge, those opportunities. Uh, it'll be it'll be a great thing for, for Duke, for Cameron, and uh, especially playing on the road, that'll be a great experience. How much of an emphasis was that in spring meetings from Jim Phillips and the ACC when trying to game the net? Well, we talked about scheduling in, in – in, the thing you can do the most, of course, is win, right? Like if everybody won in our league, uh, not conference, we're going to be in great shape. But the more aggressive, if, you, if some of your teams can be more aggressive, uh, the advice was to be more aggressive. And yes. that can help not just the school, but also the league. Uh, so that's something I think really helped everybody here understand how we can be better uh, to make sure we have, we're playing games that are quad one, quad two uh, in ACC play. Kyle Filipowski has said that his goal is to make it to the NBA. Your job is to help him get there. He returns to Duke. What has been an emphasis in his game to make a translation to the league or give him a better shot at being drafted pretty high? Yeah, you know, Kyle, look, if he if his thing was just to make it to the NBA, he could have done that already, but he wants to be there for a long time. Uh, and there's a lot that he can improve on. You know, one of the things last season, he, had, he was terrific uh, scoring, rebounding, I've always loved his playmaking, and I think that's something you can see this year. He really grew to be a versatile defender last year. That you'll see that consistently. You know how he can switch, he can protect. Uh, but those ter- two areas are big, and then just look the ability to do it every single game. That's just something that the dependability uh, is a big thing that we need Kyle to be that guy every game this year. You're in year two. You got four starters back. You got a high preseason ranking. There are some who look at that and say. Where have we heard that script before? Somewhere maybe nearby. I know coaches, when it comes to motivation, always like to center and give their teams perspective. Hey, you got to go out there and earn it. Do you use examples like what happened in Chapel Hill to say, hey, this is not something that's granted? No, you know, I didn't. I haven't brought that up, but I, but I have talked about our team specifically. And just because of a ranking, just because of – expectations you're not entitled to anything and i've really emphasized the reality of now like wh- where are we as a team today october was it october 25th yes all right october 25th today where are we where's our pick and roll defense where's our habits of blocking out and sharing the ball and that's where i want our energy and in, in focus on and we'll, the rest will take care of itself if we do that john shire's with us here we got to get to the most important thing Duke football has had a resurgence under Mike Elko. Yep. Have you seen the Riley Leonard basketball tape? Of course I have. Of course. I've, Did the thought come across your mind? If he wasn't that good of a football player, absolutely it would have. But he's, he's he needs to be our quarterback, man. I'm not trying to take him away from anything else. He's too good at football uh, to play dual sports. But he could do it. Like, we'd take him – as a walk on any day of the week, he can he can really play. He got humbled apparently. He said the first week he was on campus, he thought it would be a good idea to challenge Paulo Boncaro. <laughs> Didn't really go well. <laughs> I haven't heard that story, but I'm not surprised. Just like Paulo thinks he's a quarterback, I'm not sure he can throw it the same way that uh, Riley does. I'm sure you could still hold your own in some of those pickup games, right? Every now and then. I'm better if I have other guys on the court. John Shire, have fun. Thanks for making time for the triad. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks.